What's going on guys? All right, so we're gonna do a comparison, Placidip versus vinyl, all right? So this is gonna be a fun one because we all think that Placidip is fast, easy, everything else, and the finish is good. Well, not everyone, but a lot of you do. And we're gonna do a time comparison on the installation of both of these products. Which one's easier? Which one takes less time? We're doing my wheels right here. I have my phone right here, which I'm gonna start a timer on. I'm gonna do this in a split screen so that, because I can't do both at once, because I only have one timer and I don't, I don't wanna spray while I'm wrapping kind of thing, so it wouldn't be fair. So I have to do one and then do the other. I'll do two separate timers. You're gonna see exactly how long it takes. My bet is doing, this is gonna be faster than the plastic dip. We're not gonna do it inside the windows, so in, inside each thing, we're just gonna do the outside, but you're gonna get to see how it looks. You're gonna get to see how it looks when we don't do the inside and if it's bad or if it's good or if it's your preference. I mean, lots of wheels nowadays have color contrast. They're not just one color, they've got a, you know, black and silver or red and silver or whatever. Like there's this contrast there. So orange and red, like these co colors like that can go together. So if you're looking to just dress up your wheels, something really fun and something really easy to do. I'm gonna show you just how long it takes to wrap them. I'm gonna show you just how long it takes to plastic dip them. And my, like I said, my bet's on the vinyl. It's gonna be the fastest and look the nicest in the end. While this is gonna, we're gonna have to clean off a lot of excess overspray or if not mask everything off. It's gonna take four or five coats because we all know that we have to put four or five coats of basically one whole can of Placidip per wheel. So if we don't put one whole can of Placidip per wheel, we're gonna run into issues with removal while this is one coat. It'll come off in one coat and it'll be nice and easy to remove. I guarantee it. So, but anyways, just food for thought, something to see. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep a lookout because I'm gonna keep everything on a timer and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. All right, so part one, let's do this. We're gonna do Plastidip first. So let's get the Plastidip done. We gotta mask everything off. I've got my alcohol here, I've gotta prep it. I've got my Plastidip right here. We're gonna spray it and I gotta mask off the lip because I do not want that to be sprayed in black uh, or whatever color or Plastidip that you want. I have black today, that's what we're doing it in. And yeah, we're gonna see how everything goes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't really, I don't really wanna spray off these uh, little rivets I have around the sides, so I'm gonna have to mask all that off too. So that's gonna take a bit of time. Uh, and on top of that, I'm not gonna mask on the inside of the wheel well, or the wheel barrel, because I just don't want to. And I know it's gonna get overspray in there. Uh, I can hopefully clean it off later. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but uh, yeah, because I'm not gonna leave it black. Anyway, so we're gonna do this right now. I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna get going. So I'm gonna time lapse all this. You can watch the timer right there. Let's do it.
guys so I'm kind of tired of waiting it's I've got like two coats on there maybe I still need to do like at least another three or so uh, we're at 16 minutes 16 and a half minutes in. I'm gonna start wrapping the other wheel and see if I can finish it before this dries it's about 72 degrees in here right now somewhere on there uh, 70 72 pretty much room temperature so it's drying at its normal rate. I mean, if you leave it out in the sun, I brought the heat gun over, but I thought that would be cheating. So I didn't want to cheat. So I just gonna leave it and let it dry and see if I can wrap the other wheel face while I'm doing, waiting for this one to dry so I can keep putting the coats on in between each one. All right, so I'm gonna leave the timer right there. I'm gonna slide the wheel over slightly and get the, I'll just move the camera over. It's probably better. And get the other wheel wrapped, all right? Let's move it over a little bit. So even though I masked everything off, I got a ton of overspray still, which kind of sucks, but whatever. All right, so it's not clean. As you can see, it's filthy. I'm gonna wrap it in the orange, in the matte metallic Arancio orange. Pop the center cap out like I did on the other one. There we go. Oh, went under the car. All right. I'm just gonna kinda of talk you through this since I'm gonna be doing it anyways. I'm gonna grab the isopropyl alcohol. All right, same deal guys, we're gonna wipe it off. Just might as well clean up the whole thing. Cause it's filthy. What's gonna last longer? I'm, I'm pretty certain the first time you go to wash your wheels with the plastic on it, it's not gonna last. You can't really wash plastic dip, which is not great. These wheels are a little bit intricate, so as far as uh, design goes, you know, it's not, they're not the easiest to wrap. There's wheels out there that are much easier. I'm just going to clean out the windows a little bit, even though we're not wrapping inside these little, so I call these windows in here, in each one. All right. So I'm gonna clean them up a little bit just because I'm gonna be wrapping around the edge slightly. Good times. That's still drying, you can see it's wet. You can't do your coats too soon, otherwise it gets to be too much buildup. It can run and just not look pretty. I know it's gonna have a lot of orange peel in it anyways, cause that's plastic it for you. Cool, I think we're good. Let's see if I get these scuffs out. It's gonna have some imperfections in it, whatever. It's a wheel, I'm not too worried about it. All right, I got my blade on me. I don't really need a, I don't need a squeegee, but I'm gonna grab a wrap glove. So we're still waiting for that second coat to dry and it's been, 20 minutes. So I gave the Placid Dip a 16 minute head start. It's starting to dry now, I can see it. I'll do another coat in maybe another two or three minutes. Let's do this. 
just for fun. So just generally something like that, just making sure that we have full coverage. going to kind of place it in there and cut out some more of the excess and try and make it a circle. Just make life a little bit easier since the, um, the lip kind of gets in the way. So by the, by the lip, I mean the, obviously the uh, polished steel lip that we have going around the wheel kind of gets in the way. So because these wheels are, um, I don't know if you want to call them deep dish or whatever, but deep dish like pizza. But yeah. So I'm just generally getting it to size so I don't have to worry too much. Somewhere around there. Yeah, let's cut off a little bit more of this and we're done. We're done as far as the trim goes. Cool. So I've got the piece generally to the size that I need it. There's easier ways to do this. You can just do a template, whatever. That's starting to dry. So I'm gonna lay this down and I'm going to put another coat on that. That way you can see everything in real time. We're not messing around here. It's gonna be fun. Cool, that's there. I'm gonna slap a coat on this. It's a little bit heavy in certain areas, but not too concerned about it. All right. You always gotta make sure it's spraying nicely. It's not really, okay. because we're getting inside the windows, I really want to make sure that I'm getting inside the windows with a good coat. Uh, otherwise it's going to be a huge pain to remove. So. Anyone who's ever done this will know that if you don't do enough coats on Plastidip, it's huge pain to remove. There's products and chemicals out there that will, uh, make it a little bit easier. But again, they'll stink and they're a little bit abrasive. I'd rather not use anything. On top of that, you know what guys, like the amount of emissions that this is putting out for my health right now, probably should be wearing a mask, isn't very good. I don't need a mask with that. It's on, the, the vinyl doesn't stink, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't, it doesn't put out this pungent smell. Even if you were wearing a mask, you're still gonna smell it, so but it would save your, uh, would save your lungs. Just make sure that you're walking around, getting in, getting in those coats. Try not to do one spot too heavier than the others. So that'll probably be another five, six minutes. Let's wrap the wheel. I bet you I can pretty much finish it in that amount of time. So let's do it. So what I want to do is kind of stretch it out over top of the wheel a little bit. And I have another video of doing this in rose gold chrome, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. 
So I have to kind of stretch them out a little bit because the uh, wheel is, is convex, all right? If I don't stretch the film out a little bit, then we'll have issues with it bunching up. And we don't want that. Super nice using this material, very easy to use. I'm not stretching it a lot, I'm just kind of giving it a nice contour around the surface. Like I said, that way we're not getting bunched up film We'll do this whole thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it all on. I'm gonna remove it all, and show you which one's easier to put, apply, and which one's easier to remove. Now, like I said, just because it's easier to remove doesn't mean it's gonna come off. As long as you install it properly, it'll be fine. Cool. So we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna grab my wrap glove and just kind of heat and go over everything a little bit. there I'm just gonna fix that up so as far as like do-it-yourself stuff it's good times easy camera stops at 30 minutes so yeah as far as not doing this sorry I'm gonna do the center of course we're doing the center so I'm gonna do that right now so if I got a little wrinkle and we have an issue all we gotta do to fix it is that all right no big deal if we got an issue with the plastic dip then uh, it's gonna be more of a problem if you get something in it to take it out So what I want to do for the center is this. I'm going to trim out some of it. Because I have this little ridge here. My blade kind of sucks right now. So I have this little ridge here that I want to lay into mostly. So I'm going to actually lift the vinyl off of this and stretch it around the ridge like this. Might need a squeegee just to get into that recess down here. I 
after I cut out a couple of these windows here because it's almost there so I'm going to come around and trim this bit just using the back of the blade against the edge guys that's it super basic. Find the sweet spot, put the blade through it, all right I'm going to throw another coat of plastidip on these wheels because we're just about there. Let's give it a shake. We're at 40 minutes for these wheels right now. And so by me doing the plastic dip on the wheels, it's kind of taken away from the time that I would use to cut out the rest of that right now. Man, what a mess. Jesus. Let me just uh, wipe this off a little bit. I don't want it to turn out bad. So yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind is that you gotta wipe off the nozzle. I'm not looking forward to removing this off of the wheels, guys. Just gotta say that, because I'm not. Again, we're just trying to hit all those windows to make sure that we've got good coverage in there because when it comes time to remove it, it's going to be difficult if we don't have enough of the spray of the plastic on the inside of the wheel. Let's come around this way. Get a little bit in there. Just make sure that stays on. Cool. So I'm going to finish this off. So I got one last piece to do on the wheel, which is the inner hub area. Let's do that. I'll just take a scrap that I have.
make sure that this stays on. We're at an hour for one wheel for the Plaza Dip. Still not dry. I gotta do one more coat. All right, let's do this. So we're at one hour. The wheel took 45 minutes ish, a little less. Right? Check it out from the side. So it's not so bad with the silver windows, they're dirty right now, but no big deal. So that's still drying. And the finish on it could be a lot better. I've never really had a lot of success with the uh, Plasti Dip as far as getting it to look smooth. I've tried, I've been using other products. But that is smooth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm it's been an hour. I'm not gonna do a longer video than this because it's gonna be about 45 minutes after I time lapse it. The, I'm gonna finish this off, finish spraying it. I got another coat at least. I can see a lot of white. So I got another coat at least or a lot of silver I can see. So I'm doing another coat and then I'm gonna do a removal video. Which one removes faster? I bet you you can guess. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks guys.